Hey gang, Chris Maholka here. This is the next video in my series on dubbing. If you watched the last video, you saw me take white rabbit hair and dye it into this nice hot pumpkin orange color. Now this is laid out on some paper towels for a few days and dried, so it's ready to be blended for dubbing. And if you're going to use this just as it is for something like a stimulator pattern, uh, all you have to do is take a little bit of it that's kind of felted together, put it in your coffee grinder, give it a couple bumps. Again, you're blending, you're not cutting. Now you should have a nice batch of dubbing ready to tie with. Now I would take that and put it right in a bag and save it, and that would be my dubbing for, again, the patterns where you need that hot orange color. But what if you want a lighter color, a faded color for dry, something to look live and bubbly on the surface, or you want something darker and rougher looking for like a caddis nymph? I'm going to show you how to get there. When I talk blending for shade, what that means is I don't want to change the overall color of this dubbing. I want to have an orange. I may want it lighter or darker, but it's still going to remain pretty much the orange. So what you need to do is you need to find a couple other dubbings that are in the same color spectrum, meaning this is a warm color. So I don't want to put blue in it. I don't want to put green in it or something like that. I want to stay in the, the reds, the yellows, that range. So to make this lighter, I'm going to start and try a couple things. Here is a kind of a sulfur yellow. Again, on the warm side of the spectrum, but significantly lighter than the orange. And then I'm going to try a cream. Again, kind of neutral. You could use this if you were doing something like a blue dubbing as well. Uh, it wouldn't overall alter the color, but it would lighten up the blend. Now, if I'm going to go to the dark side, I want to go with something that has a muted color and like this sulfur, I'm going to go with a tan. This is kind of a natural hair to hair color tan. Then I'm also going to try a brown. This is a warm kind of a fiery brown and a black. Now these are all rabbit. They'll blend together and the idea is not to make a dubbing that has special highlights or anything in it like if you were dubbing a uh, steelhead dubbing that you want some sparkle. This is just to change the tone of the orange to lighter or darker. So let's give this a try. So I'm going to start on the light end of the spectrum and we'll take our orange and we're going to add some of the cream to it. Now if I was doing this for production purposes where I was reproducing this on a regular basis I would be weighing all of this to exacting standards. Since we're just kind of playing around here we'll just take a, a matted bunch of orange and throw it in there and some tan. Give a few punches. And that gives us a light orange. You can see the overall difference in that compared to the basic dubbing before it's been blended. So we've got a really light version. We can take it even lighter, but I don't think I need it much lighter. I think that uh, that will do nicely if I'm using it in like a dry fly or something where I want a, a muted kind of a sulfury orange. So then next we'll try the uh, sulfur yellow here. A little pinch of that in with the orange. That's going to give us more of a golden yellow. And you'll be able to see, hopefully you can see the difference between the lighter and the golden. So that gives us a good range on the light side of the standard orange, which when blended by itself looks like that. You can see we've got a, a lighter and a golden. So let's go over on the dark side of the range now. And we'll start with our tan. Throw in some chunk of the pumpkin orange and a pinch of the tan. Blend those 
well and now we get a little bit of a almost dirtier looking dubbing less intense than the the light side is and again you can see the difference between the hot orange by itself and that mixed with the tan so we're going to take this and go even darker with the brown and this will give it a very kind of a dirty look but again it won't change the overall orange color so there's the dirtier brown color again the difference between the tan and the brown and to take it the rest of the way and this will make a more almost of a mottled color if you're doing nymphs or things where it looks kind of gravelly again you don't have to add a lot of the off color but there's your color light with the uh, natural with the brown and with the black compared to the original we started with so what we've now done by using additives we've made the black the brown the tan we've got our original orange and we have our golden orange and our light orange those are all just made by taking the basic orange color and adding additives to it and blending them together you can see that overall we still maintain the orange color may have got a little bit too much black in there with that but we can just take that and add some more orange to it and uh, that will give us the complete range of orange without having to buy selected simple or regular packs of each shade that's manufactured you can take red you can take any color you want to start with and add the basics to it and come up with a full range of dubbing for whatever you need thanks for watching today uh, watch my next video it will be about dubbing but how to add sparkle and highlight to it for things like steelhead and salmon flies.